Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I've just got a couple things to fix, a couple little upgrades, and uh, I don't know. Go for a drive, and uh, she should be running real mint, selling real mint too. Well, first of all, before I get to any of that, I have deleted the bov at the moment, so well, I, you know what to expect. Yes, some excitement, but uh, that's just the old boost gauge and oil pressure thing. But I bought another boost gauge, a black one, so I don't have to. Because <laughs> I was, um, I'm planning on properly installing them today, so I thought oh, I might as well just spend the money now and just chuck in the one I actually want in there. So yeah, got a nice black boost gauge, brand new. I'll just keep the other one that I had, the white one, for when I get a surf. It's all right. I'm not worried. Uh, it's got a boost leak. I already had these clamps, but they might be a tad too small. So just got. Uh, I I mean I used my credit, so these were technically free. Kind of, you know. Um, the oil I got a fitting, so I can run the oil pressure um, gauge. So yeah, that. Now I've just got to wire that all in, and then the most. The thing I'm most excited for is, uh, well, I mean, if you can read that, yep, I'm going to be turning the boost up. Maybe not now, but definitely for fours and rotors, I'm probably going to, I don't know, I, I'm, I'll see how it feels, but I want to I wanna turn it up to 10 PSI, so, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's what I've got going on at the moment, a couple little upgrades and fixes, because, yeah, it's not boosting right at the moment. It's only boosting like four, five PSI at the moment. So it's got a, nothing major, but like a small boost leak. I don't know, out of, I mean, it's a bit hard to see. Out of that thing, the block off plate. I never checked it. I just got it off the last owner, like all this um, intercooler piping and all that. And I never checked it. I just left it, assumed it was fine, but I'm assuming it's either that or that one, cause that one's not on the pipe properly, but I don't know, we'll figure it out what's going on but I don't know I'm just gonna well get it on the hoist first of all and I've only just driven it here driven it in here and got it parked here and thought I'd just show you everything I've got for it but uh, I'll chuck it up on the hoist and then I'll you know just take off all of this side and then I want to take the you know the front bumper off and all that so I can get that pipe out and see what the girl was with it see if that's the leak or that's the leak I don't know it's just a bit tight in here for this clamp and it's hitting against the hose as you can see and just over time it'll end up blowing a hole in there uh, can't really see Hold on. it's nothing major at the moment but it'll definitely wear a hole on it if i leave it like that but uh yeah that's the first order today the order of today's business is just a i don't know Fix the boost leak, chuck in that uh, boost tee, and then I gotta wire in all the gauges. And yeah, install obviously that fitting there for the sensor. Um, I don't know. Nothing hard, but I probably won't film too much. I might film a little bit of the process, but obviously nothing too exciting. But uh, no, I'm just gonna get to work and I'll show you wherever I'm at next. And then, um, you yeah, know, I'll. We'll go for a drive at the end of the, <laughs> once I've fixed all that, and as you can see, the, the old chair legs <laughs> blocking that one, and there's one there, but obviously you don't really need to clamp that on. But no, she sounds mint. You'll hear the flutter later today. I definitely need a new filter or to clean this one out. Right, I've had it for a while, and I've cleaned it a few times, but I think I've had this filter for like three years. So. It's probably time to move on to another one which i should have just kept the one i had but i sold that to my mate because he's plus teeters falcon and it was a blue one kind of like you know the, the falcon so i should have just kept it and thrown it on but oh well didn't really care too much at the time there's no longer hitting on that as well it may look stupid but it's just a dose pipe Nothing, you know, like people just run the dose pipe straight up here, but you're just getting all the heat around here. It's like, I like that. Plus, I like the 
crossover pipe, gonna make use of that. And it, it's still, the dose still sounds real good because obviously this is all alloy, cast alloy, and uh, the pipe's hard, so hard plastic, so you still get a good sound out of it. Um, it is what it is. I like the old, the old dose pipe, nice big long. But uh, yeah, enough talking shit. I'm just gonna get to work and I'll catch you up wherever I'm up to next. Just thought I'd give you a wee update. Um, I've just taken this off. Well, yeah, this pipe out and I wanted to, well, see what was actually in here and hold it down, but it was just a thin bit of metal bolted down with some RTV under it. And yeah, it kind of worked, but uh, there was starting to leak out the side here. So yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Put either, I don't know, find some, a, bit, a thicker bit of metal to bolt onto it. And then RTV it down, I don't know. Oh, I'm onto that anyway. Um, but as much as I'd like to run a blow valve, I've just, you know, had a little feel up in me turbo and it's not bad. And I don't think it would blow up anytime soon, but it's getting the tiniest bit of play. Like I always check it when I have like that, that pipe off and like it never had any play, but now I'm feeling like the tiniest bit. And I've only had the dose, uh, the blow off valve deleted for, it's like Wednesday now, I deleted it on Sunday. So yeah, only a few days. And I'm, I mean, I've been driving it every day. So, you know, it sounds sick. Don't get me wrong. I want it. But I ain't got the money. I mean, I do. I got the money for a brand new Pulsar if I want one. But, yeah, because um, that other Blue Falcon, I filmed that on Monday or something. Yeah, it was Monday. It's Wednesday now. And that left Monday. Uh, Monday so she's all gone. And now this is my only car. So I kind of need it to be reliable. So, Blofeld's going back on, sadly. But, I don't know. I'm more responsible. I might buy a brand new turbo. I don't know. I'm going to be turning the boost up regardless, so you don't really want it to be dosing at uh, like around 10 psi. So it sucks that you guys didn't get to hear it. It did sound good, but I mean, you've heard Falcons before dose, surely. So, you know, it's just the name of the game. If I was running like 5 psi stock, it'd be good. But yeah, it's just starting to get some play in it. So I'm going to play it safe, chuck the bob back on, and She'll be right, but uh, yeah, this is how far I've gotten. Just took that pipe off and looked at that. Um, got that. Uh, yeah, got that. We got my clamps. We got a new exhaust gasket. That's right, I haven't showed you because I am chucking the resonator in it. I got this off my mate who's turbo disc car, so he doesn't need it anymore. So now that the engines, well, I haven't really, yeah, I don't know showing you that. I mean, I did show you a little bit in the last video, but now that it's fully, well, like, pretty solidly mounted to the chassis, obviously it vibrates a bit. It's not as bad as I thought. It's like the tiniest bit at idle. Cruising, you don't even notice. Anywhere, like, above 1,000, 1000 RPMs, you, it doesn't vibrate the car really at all, but the exhaust is just a bit more droney than it um, used to be. So, just going to chuck a little, that little resonator in it, and, um, yeah, nothing major. And then, I don't know, the drain has been leaking, so I've got to fix that. But, anyway, there's your update. I'll uh, be back with you when, I don't know, I do something else, I guess. Um, what am I, I don't know. I'll work it out. I'm probably just going to fix this bit, of, bit first. I'm just kind of trying to sort out all the pressure side of the intercooler. Because it, it has a split there, but the pipe was in that far and then the clamp there. So I don't think it was really leaking out of there, but I got a brand new clamp for it anyway. This clamp that was a bit of an old shitty one, so. Oop, hit my car, it's all right. <sighs> one day I'll get a full respray. This fender I'm not actually too worried about because she's kind of fucked since I put it on two blows that one time. But anyway, I'm gonna get the work. Enough messing around. I'm just gonna, yeah, put that pipe in, fill that hole change a couple clamps, make sure it's all solid, chuck the bulb back on, and then I'll go, oh, then I'll actually do, um, with that, uh, more hose, I got a T in that, T, um, boost T, and then I'll chuck it up there, I'll just bolt it there, my mate did it the same thing, but I was thinking the same thing, just bolt it to 
the corn tank there, make it look all nice. And then I'll, the last thing I'm focusing on, it will be the gauges. But anyway, I'll show you once I've done that and then we'll be onto the, all the gauges and all that. But all good. I uh, thought I might as well give you another update. So I can't remember if I said, but I had an oil leak, but I believe it's just cause I didn't tighten these clamps when I did all the studs and all that, put it back on. I just tighten them up and I think that's good. The amounts, they still look mint as. Uh, I've installed, if I can get up there. There you go, there's the oil pressure sensor for the, the gauge. Um, and I'm just doing the rear, well, middle section. So this is, I think I showed you my hoary section. And this is what I'm putting in there. Um, just to help the drone, just cause, I don't know. She's full solid mount now, so. Yeah, she's got, well, she had this, rubber there and then the rubber at the back like no, she's got one right, she's got one there one there nothing too special but yeah I've done that's um well what I've already shown you I've done all that oh yeah what I didn't show as well last time is when I was uh oh, <laughs> when I was looking <laughs> I see that I've uh, cracked my wheel in a couple places. So just these, uh, just this one, it's cracked. So she's, I need new wheels. <laughs> if one of you guys happen to have these Project E race fours, 18 by eight and a half, let me know. I, got, I, I like these wheels, they're not terrible. Like I got them off another Falcon that I got and you know, I've just had them on here ever since. Um, Cause this car doesn't really suit stock wheels. I already have another set of wheels. They are 17s that I will be putting on it before I go to fours, even though I really want these ones. But I mean, I've, uh, these used to be on the rear. These were brand new, like, uh, not like a month or two ago. <laughs> now they're a bit, a bit low. But how are you going? Same with the uh, this one, you know. <clears throat> this one's held up pretty well. Like, if you're gonna get some cheaper tires, Japera is the go. They always have way more tread. I mean, I've just been buying cheap tires the whole time. But as you can see, this one's yeah, she's <laughs> right on the limit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's she, yes. I haven't really too worried because you know. I've just been hacking it up just because, well, especially since uh, when I, I was going to put a thicker sidewall. So this has got a 45 sidewall and those have a 40. These were, uh, those were on the front, but I wanted to get new tires for the front. But you know, obviously I, I got to use them. I don't want to just chuck new tires on, even though they're fine. So, you know, swap them around. So let's get them up, burn them down. Then I was going to chuck some new tires on it. Some, 45 sidewall ones just to help fill in the wheel well you know but um yeah well that ain't happening anymore but i already have the wheels i'll show you well i actually hold on they're over here here they are well here's one of them so nothing special just some cheap advanti or whatever the brand is tires are all mint on it the seven by seven and a half i think i don't know that's all i got at the moment so I'm just gonna throw them on for fours. I don't actually own them, but I'm buying them off my brother. Um, only 500 bucks, so not bad. These I got for free off another Falcon, so I'm not, I don't really care too much about them. Most of them were pretty curbed up anyway. This one's the best one. But anyway, there's your update. <laughs> I am going to, what am I doing? I don't know, just double check all that's tied up there chuck this pipe back in and i don't know just slowly start putting it back together and then i can drop it down and what well, yeah, i'm gonna do the exhaust now and then i'll chuck that pipe on and so on 
but uh, no, nah, I'll be back with you where I'm at next. Um, I have now installed the boost tee, so I'll crank that all the way up. No, <laughs> I'll just start it at uh, nothing, make sure she's um, running what it should be, 7 psi. Um, so you've got that all routed in just a nice spot there. Uh, that's back in, can't really quite film that. And then I put finally put the um, the blow valves back on too, so I've just done that. Uh, exhaust is on as well, that middle section. So, uh, yeah. Now I've just got to, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, lift it up, put that other bit of intercool piping on. And then, yeah, just put the top pieces on. And then I just gotta look into how to wire that in. I don't think it's that hard. From what I remember from reading the thing ages ago, I'm pretty sure I just gotta give it power and ground or something, and then I gotta put one wire to the actual gauge, and then you know, the gauges just need, you know, power to light up. Um, I don't know, other than that, nothing else much going on. I'll be back with you, I guess, once it's all back together and we can finally go for a drive. And then uh, if all goes well, we can turn the boost up, put some fun, love to party. But uh, no, it's always a shit show, there's so much shit around there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have fun putting that pipe back on and then the other pipe and then, oh, that top, that hard plastic one's like the easiest one out of all of it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll be back with you once these are, uh, once it's all done, I guess. Yeah, she's all back together. Um, can't remember where I left off. I think I just showed you the boost tee, bluff out back on. Uh, I don't know, that pipe or whatever, but yeah, now I've got that pipe, that pipe, this on, and uh, so the, um, I haven't touched the gauges at all. I've had enough for the day. It's like two o'clock and I haven't had breakfast nor lunch, so I'm just gonna go for a drive, see how she is, and, uh, well, yeah, I have, uh, so I don't have to lift, put it back on the lift, unless the, uh, oil drain is leaking again for some reason, that'll be a pain in the ass if it is, but, um, yeah, because I don't know where it's leaking from at this point, but I have wired the two wires, so it just needs a ground, which you can either go to the body, so somewhere like there, but I just, with the wiring thing I had, it's got the two wires it's got red and black wire in there so i was like ah oh, i'll just put it i mean i could have found individual wires but it was a thing i was like ah oh, whatever feed them down under and oh, i don't know if you can see no. it's all connected anyway so it's connected all the way up until well yeah i've sent i put it through the firewall just through that little bit of rubber boot bit there. And um, that's where I put the, um, that bit for the uh, boost gauge as well. But yeah, just going through there and then it's just in the bottom foot well and I've just pushed it up in the, out of the way for now. And I'll deal with it well tomorrow. But yeah, you just need to, for anyone that's doing this, just if uh, the bit that she's, that's ground and then you have to send one wire up to the gauge and uh, I don't know this is a bunch of wiring I'm not a wiring guru I'm just following the instructions and I'll probably wire it into the fuse panel there somehow or some something around here I don't know I'm still yet to really look into it but nah. that's a mission for tomorrow at the moment I'm just gonna go for a drive See how she's feeling, make sure she's hitting 7 psi again. And uh, if all goes well, I'll be out of the car and I'll turn that up. No, not too much, probably, probably like a psi or two. Hopefully, I don't get too excited and just send it, but yeah. Shiver. I'll either the next bit of this video will be either be got the gauges going and then we'll go for a drive or the motor's blown up. I hope not, because I really 
Oh, I mean, I don't really care too much as long as it's not like a week before <laughs> falls I'm doing an engine swap. But, you know, <laughs> we'll try not to do that. I'm definitely turning it up for fours though. Yeah, I can promise you that. Um, but no, other than that, I'll be back with you tomorrow when we're working on the gauges. But no, she's looking good. And uh, yeah, no, all good. So I'll see you tomorrow then. It's been a uh, <clears throat> better part, to say the least, a uh, hot minute, probably a month since I last filmed. I mean, I filmed the clips, but I've just, I've, I've mucked it all up and got it all out of order, so I'm just going to start from here. As you can see, Beth is all looking quite different. I don't know if you can hear it, I'm a little bit sick as well. Fours has just been, and uh, yeah, well... <laughs> As you can tell, I've got the motor apart. Well, I've got <coughs> crossover off and I've got the uh, compression tester there. And, uh, well, <coughs> I mean, that can only mean one thing, but before we get to that, I have got doors and I also have a rear bumper. Uh, I don't have a boot yet well I do have a boot for it but I don't really want to put it on uh, I just rather leave this boot to be honest um, new exhaust which is kind of uh, it, it's meant to be for another video um, which I'll bring out yeah when I get my shit together I do have a full brand new exhaust which is kind of what caused the issue um, but no got the Falcon looking one color and obviously on some different wheels. I uh, yeah, picked up these BF XR8 Lux Pack 18 by 9 or 8.5, I don't know. They're just a nice factory Lux Pack wheel. Personally, one, one of my favorite OEM looking Ford wheels. Um, the Honeycombs, eh, they're whatever, to be honest, I'm not a fan of. I like these, they just look nice and clean. But uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I also, I did leave it off with. Yeah, I did wire up the gauges. I did wire it up wrong though. So when <laughs> when you have the lights off, they're on, and then when you turn the lights on, they're off. So need to fix that. But it hasn't bothered me. Um, a couple of little upgrades there, if you can't really tell. But I got a new exhaust, so the turbo started flowing real well which led into overboosting issues and I was going to take the turbo off and kind of um, grind out the uh, flap area for the wastegate but I got sick before fours and I mean I was sick kind of at fours as well but I was feeling better just sore throat and all that um, but I just didn't have the effort so I just took it over boosting and it went hard I think I just uh, on the last session I sent it a little bit too hard I mean, it was probably hurting itself all day. If you're wondering how much boost it was pushing, I do have a little clip which I'll throw in now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she was over boosting a ton. She took it, and I, um, I was beating the balls out of it, and I took it like the day before that. And that day, it was just at the end of the day, it finally time went wrong and uh, yeah, it still runs the drive. I literally took it off track. I didn't even turn it off. I just took it off track, drove to my mates and then we ended up driving to the gas station. They were like out of 100 plus or some shit. So I ended up just chucking 95 back up just to get home. And yeah, I didn't get home until like, eight o'clock that day but whatever um yeah the motor's hurt it makes a little bit of a noise and it smokes a bit i can show you um me cold well yeah somewhat cold start it wasn't that cold this morning but 
uh, yeah, I'll show you the cold start of what it was like. So yeah, she's she's a bit worse than my other motor that I've been riding. They want to get running for like another 10 months. This one, I fear, might be... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I literally just, yeah, beat it on track for four hours straight. I drove it home two hours, so I had six hours of... I mean, on the two-hour drive, I, I took it easy. But I had at least like four hours of abuse. And then I drove it home two hours. And then... Uh, yeah <laughs> here she is today first time driving it since um sunday which was the ultimate track day it is wednesday now so it has been a few days um be an hour of uh, obviously as you can tell crossovers off and got the compression tester out i know the motor's fucked and i need to replace it but i just wanted to you know, see what it's at <laughs> it doesn't matter but i just want to see what it's how <laughs> what's gone wrong and where it's gone wrong you know it took a lot of boost i was running a 100 plus plus octane booster so it helped it survive but i think i don't know it, it's smoking real bad so it's way worse than the last being rod so i think i've definitely fried some piston rings or melted a piston or some shit um which i'll tear the motor apart in a couple weeks but um for now I'm just gonna do a compression test see she, where she's at and uh, I don't know I'll be back with you once I've done, done it all and I'll give you the results <laughs> see what uh, what's still on as a problem child I'm kind of expecting it to be a couple but uh, this is the 350,000k territory motor that I have then slapped the turbo on. I paid 200 bucks for the motor, so in the end, I got a lot of fun out of it. I slapped it in February, it is now November, so <laughs> I had my fun, $200 worth of fun. Well, uh, it paid for itself, so now I'm going to try find a low K motor to put in. But that's for another video, because um, I want to make the next one last. <laughs> Fix the overboosting problem either. I'm probably gonna, yeah, fix the uh, waste cable port thing and uh, that. And when I take it off to the motor, and then I want to buy a new turbo too, but uh, that's all money that I don't have right now. But you know, I want to get to work on it. I'll be back with you with the uh, results of the compression test. I am back. It has been another week. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, first of all, here's the compression test results. Yeah, so, I mean, I knew the motor was buggered, but yeah, it's a lot worse than last time. And you can see a bit of turbo, uh, the bit of oil on the turbo. So she's definitely, uh, well, breathing a lot. My guess is I've bent a rod and just fried the rings or melted a piston or something along those lines because factory it should be 170 so 
Yeah. <laughs> Down about 100 PSI. I don't know. We'll see um, uh, in another video. I'm not going to film it. I'm so far behind and I've <laughs> messed up uh, the whole filming process. I've already filmed like way ahead and then I've kind of just, I don't know, mucked up the order. Like I'm another video ahead and then I, I don't know. I, I haven't even finished this one, so... <laughs> Uh, I guess, uh, shit, <laughs> I don't know, next video is going to be putting a motor in this, which is what I am doing now, but I'm going to end this video out, um, I do have a, a brand new motor, uh, fresh out of pick apart that I got, so that is what I sh should be doing in the next video. <laughs> I don't know, I've already filmed another video, but I haven't finished that video either, and I can't really finish it because, well, the car's broken, so... Fun. <laughs> but, uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry for the whole uh, mess up, to say the least. <laughs> uh, I hope you liked me modifying all the shit I did modify, because I don't even know where I, like... The engine mounts and that were like two months ago, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've I've done a lot in that time. Oh, I've still got to release some of the stuff, some of the little clips I have from uh, Fours and Rotors. <laughs> Our next video, motor swap. Well, uh, maybe I don't really need to film the motor swap, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> Sorry, it's not, we're not going for a drive, but uh, yeah, blame it all on me, I messed it all up, <laughs> and I did, <laughs> broke another motor, I over boosted the absolute shit out of it, like uh, this thing probably has like a good, I'd say like six hours straight, well not straight, six hours in total of over boosting, I think the longest session was about a, an hour and a half, of uh, just me beating it on track at fours, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the whole sh fuck up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try to get my shit together. I'm getting back into the busy season at work, so that plus uh, I'm just I don't know. I filmed the last video and then I just completely forgot to film anything else, and I went home. Put it like I put it all back together, went home, and then. Like a day later, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll be back with uh, a new motor. And I'll probably do the exhaust force um, video next is one thing. Just because uh, I'm putting in it. It's a, it's a BF motor um, that I'm putting in. So this is the 350,000k ter territory motor, there's no 4, so it's technically, yeah, BA, so I had a lot of compression, but I wanted to go back to a, a BF, so I just went a lot better with less boost, because they have uh, higher compression, so, yeah, and this has supposedly 200,000k's on it, so, yeah, should go good, um, being for a pick apart, you'd think it'd be a bit, you know, Hey, you going, you gotta be a bit careful buying engines from there, but I looked it over, turned it over multiple times. I've even put ATF flushed it down all the cylinders and it's super right, but uh, yeah, <laughs> all good. <laughs> Sorry, and uh, yeah, finally in the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe again. <laughs> Later.